What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News Delight. Let's talk about this one, man. <laughs> let's talk about this one, bro. So, yeah, let's talk about this one. Nia Jax versus Rhea Ripley for the Women's Championship, right? So, we talked about how Becky won the uh, Elimination Chamber in the last video, so definitely go back to that video and get my thoughts on that. I'll probably have a link to that video on the end screen towards the end of the video as well. But let's talk about Nia Jax versus Rhea Ripley. Let's talk about Nia first because Nia has been really built up really well in my opinion. Her whole heel run has been great. If uh, let me let me say this because I did run into some people yesterday while I was watching Elimination Chamber. I was in the chat room when I was watching Elimination Chamber. There was still a few people disrespecting Nia. If you hear anybody disrespecting Nia. Please know this, they are biased. They have, like, when you're not able to change your mind on some something that happens that's better than what you thought it was, you need to admit it. You need to admit that you were wrong, okay? I've told y'all since September that I didn't have any good expectations for Nia Jax. I didn't really want her around. I, I thought it was a mistake when they bought her back, and they proved me wrong. And I'll admit that. They proved me wrong. I love being proven wrong in pro wrestling. It means... When I'm proven wrong about something that's, that I feel is a, a negative conversation coming from myself, it's a chance for the bookers to prove that I was wrong. And I'd rather be proven wrong than be, be proven right because that means that they did something the right way and I love the fact that I was proven wrong with Nia. Nia worked hard, bro. Nia, had, they booked her the right way. She seemed to be more into it than she was last time. She has looked like a dominant heel. And it even culminates in this match because I ain't want to lie. Again, my expectations were low because I didn't know if, uh, if Nia could actually main event a match. There's no problem with Rhea main event a match. Like, Rhea, we know uh, she's one of the best wrestlers on their roster. So, you know, if this was Becky and Rhea, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been, like, people probably wouldn't even thought, like, oh, this is the main event. Why? You know, unless you're a sexist. But it's like, bro. This match, um, it, it, I knew it would be in a main event. You know, Nia's technically, she was born in Australia, so it, it kind of made sense to have this match in the main event. And also, Rhea being, she was the main attraction for the show. And you could tell by the fans, the fans loved Rhea. Like, the fans, it was her first chance since she's been a WWE superstar to go down there and really kind of, like, just show everyone this is, you could be proud of the the daughter that the country raised and seeing how she's become this 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 awesome star in the WWE. And the, the thing about Daria is, I think she's only like 26 or 27 years old. So she's still a youngin'. Like, she's nowhere in, in wrestling. The prime years in wrestling is usually like mid to late 30s to like early 40s. Like, so Rhea, as long as she stays healthy, she's got a long way to go as far as her legacy goes. She's got a long ways to go. And she is getting a lot early on. And, bro, she's submitting her legacy. She, she's doing her thing right now, bro. She's doing her thing right now. It's, it, it's been awesome to watch. It's kind of like Tony Storm at AEW right now. Like, she's just doing her thing, bro. She's really doing her thing. Um, But, yeah, with Rhea, man. Um, <laughs> and there were a lot of dudes at Rhea, man. They were talking about how she was jiggling all match, like. <laughs> so you you had a little bit of that too, man. But Rhea had Rhea did have it going on, man. She did. She had it going on. The crowd was loving her, bro. Um, it kind of felt like it, it reminded me of when Rhea was at Backlash in Puerto Rico. It was so insane how much respect she had for the Puerto from the Puerto Ricans, bro. It was crazy. Um. But, 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 you know, Rhea, I, I think they did the right thing in the main event because that men's chamber was not good. I'm glad that wasn't in the main event. That men's chamber was a real letdown, bro. I, I'm not even going to review that, man, because that, that was some trash, bro. Um, I, I couldn't believe how bad that was. But, bro, Rhea versus Nia was way better than I expected because Nia actually hung in there. They said, Michael Cole said it was like 77 degrees. It was probably cooler by the time they did the match. It was probably closer to 70. 
Um, if you ever been like I, I've been down there in Australia, I, I've been down there before, and um, it's who their summers are hot, bro. It feels hotter than it is here. I think the humidity is even higher than it is there. It's like being in the hottest part of the United States, which is what's supposed to be Death Valley. So, like, if you ever been like in Arizona, Nevada, or East California, the hottest part of the country, bro, like it is. It's like that, but on 10. <laughs> it is hot, bro. Especially the more east you go in Australia from West Australia. Uh, when you go into the outback, bro. Oh, my God, bro. You want to die out there, bro. Bro. It, and it was like 100 the day before, they said. So, the day before the chamber, it was like 100. Saturday, it looked like it was like hazy outside. And it was the temperature dropped a lot to about 70-something. So, it was a more cooler night um, for the chamber. So, good thing for the wrestlers, it was it was cooler. Um, but man, bro, <laughs> Nia hung in there, bro. It just tells like Nia's in really good shape for someone as big as Nia is. She's actually in really good shape because this match went about 15 minutes, I think. She was in incredible shape. Let's go over how the match went real quick so I can end this video. Um, let's see, let's see, let me scroll down a little bit um, to my notes. Uh, yeah, so. Let's skip all the way down to this. So Ripley went up top and did the Eddie Guerrero slit shimmy, and she did it. She did it better than uh Don Dominic, bro. She does the Eddie Guerrero shimmy better. I mean the frog splash uh, better than Dominic. So she did the frog splash and, res and it resulted in two count. Jax rebounded and cleared Ripley to ringside. Jax threw a kick from the apron, but Ripley called Jack Jax's foot and then dumped uh, Jax face first onto the apron. Jax fell to the floor. Ripley tore the top of the um, the top of the broadcast table off. Ripley went for a power bomb, but Jax stuffed it and then uh, performed a Samoan drop onto the broadcast table. Jax climbed onto one of the uh, broadcast team members' chairs and dropped an elbow on Ripley, which broke the table. Jax got um, Ripley back inside the ring and hit her with an annihilator finisher. Ripley kicked out at two. Jax did the open uh, mouth shock face. Jax went up top moments later, but Ripley shot up and super superplexed her. And there was some times when this match where it looked like Nia was going to pull out the upset. Like, she was hanging in there with Rhea. Like, it was looking kind of scary for Rhea that she was going to lose the title this night, right? Ripley's family members were shown. And, and by the way, uh, Rhea's little sister looks just like Rhea before Rhea uh, became a brunette. Like, when Rhea uh, was a blonde and she just started in the business, that's what her sister looks like. <laughs> that's it. Like, her sister looks just like her, bro. When Rhea really doesn't have makeup on, she actually looks like her sister, bro. Like, like for real. Like, you could see it. You know, she looks different with the makeup on. But like, when she doesn't have the makeup on, she looks like her little sister, bro. I, I was like, damn, she looks just like her, bro. Um, but anyway, so, um, and a Rhea chant broke, broke off in the crowd. Rhea threw a kick in the head of a standing Jax and hit her with the riptide and scored the pin. And that was all she wrote for Nia Jax, who lost her opportunity to get the title in about 14 minutes and 35 seconds. So Rhea Ripley retains the Women's World Championship. And we know that she is going to face Becky Lynch officially at WrestleMania 40 in about a month from now in Philadelphia. So, um, really good match. Very surprisingly good match, bro. Um, it's really cool to see Ripley actually in front of her family and friends, especially her family. We hadn't really seen her family yet, like like in the public. So it was good to see that. And it was good to see her home country like really get behind her. And then a lot of them stuck around to celebrate with her. So it was great. The Aussie crowd bought the atmosphere. Aussie, I, I, let me say this though. I think the Aussie crowd deserves a better PLE the next time they go down there though. This PLE was actually... On paper, it was kind of mediocre, but it turned into a pretty solid show. I just didn't like the men's chamber. Like, that was my only, like, disappointment of the night. Because I thought Damien's match with, with Finn Balor was pretty good. Um, the Grayson Waller segment was actually, the Waller effect segment was actually better than what I thought it was going to be. It was some good things coming out of that. Um, but it was just the men's chamber was, like, the only bad thing. But hopefully the, the they'll do, a, maybe not do the chamber down there again, but maybe do like, uh, I'm going to say, uh, I don't know about the rumble, maybe another, maybe survivor series because survivor series is in November. Um, I, I will think about, I will think about doing war games, uh, survivor series, war games down there. Um,
because they that that's what that's like their springtime down there. I I will think about it. I will think about. It. I think that's the reason why they did the elimination chamber because it's dead in the middle of their summer. But uh, I I will think about maybe doing Survivor Series down there. I, I will think about doing Survivor Series the next time they go down there, bro. Um, they they should think about that because they're they they man Indy Hartwell versus Rhea Ripley, man. They gotta tell that story, bro. Um, that's the one thing that I keep thinking about, bro. Like, they got to do that match, bro. I keep thinking about that, man. But the two Aussies right there, they got to they think about that one. But the Aussie crowd was great, man, the whole night, man. Salute to them. It's great when you have great crowds, bro. Um, where are they at tonight for Raw? I forgot. I think it's a decent city, though. I, for, I forget where they're at, though. But we should get another decent crowd tonight. For Raw, usually, usually the WWE goes to the better cities leading up to WrestleMania. So I know Chicago's in there somewhere. So you know that's gonna bang. There's a few other cities, but yeah, I, I think that we're gonna get a good, good little WrestleMania build up um, coming up here. So it should be very interesting. But yeah, man, we, I gotta give it to Nia Jax. I came away more impressed with Nia Jax as I as I came away with this man. I'm like, man, Nia. Nia turned her career all the way around, bro. Salute to Nia, bro. Salute to Nia, man. Uh, but go ahead and get this video a like, share, subscribe. Give me your thoughts on this, man. I will see y'all for Raw, man. Thank y'all for watching. After news, to like.